Hey VW fans, this is a 1965 European delivery sunroof Beetle and I'm finally getting around to putting three-point seat belts in it. Uh, I bought these retro brand seat belts off of CIP1. They're decent quality. I had these sort of lap belts <clears throat> in the car before this. This is the hardware they send that comes with it. I'm using a 17 and a 19 millimeter wrench and uh, drive. I used a 7 16 drill bit to cut up into the car. I just did that on this side over here. And the part that was frustrating me is from CIP, California Import Parts, they have these sort of elegant little... Um, brackets to hook these onto and the way they're supposed to work is they go like this up against uh the side of your uh car actually it goes it goes the other way but basically it hooks right into there so this was a european delivery and even though it's a 65 i don't have a bolt down here so i had to um drill a hole and come up through the floorboard which is one of the reasons I've waited 20 years to do this just cutting into that German metal is just uh, painful but it turned out on this side I already had a hole so the way it works is on this side uh, there's the uh, bracket and that's the screw that goes through the bottom of the pan here's the um, seat belt uh, return three-point return everybody pretty much has this spot up here i think like 63 forward again this is a 65 and then comes across as a three point and most cars have a seat belt hookup right there so it's kind of worth it because i've tried this side out it works really well um just so you know i chalked the car with a uh, garage counterweight on this side. I jacked it up safely and put a jack stand underneath it and then got underneath the car with my bit. And the bit kind of gets messed up from the tar board that's in the car, if you still have your original tar board. And that's where the screw is going through right now. And then I have to cut back this aftermarket carpeting and I'll clean up the uh, the way this looks but <clears throat> the bracket will go like this right on that screw like it did over here and that is basically it so I think it's uh, the extra safety is good uh, again you do have to cut through the floorboard and I'll show you real quick what the bolt looks like with the anchor there it is right there and uh i hope that uh solves a couple mysteries for folks because i was certainly mystified there was no real clear way to do it for a car without the the point on the floor so that's it enjoy your beetle